Good evening, saints of God. I thought that I needed to do, or maybe God told me to, but it's been on my mind, to make a little follow-up video on the one I did yesterday, the first one that was, I put a video that was from St. Dominic, Brother in Christ, his channel, and I had said that we are saints, and yes, I would say it, I'm a saint. Well, somebody had put a comment that, a name I didn't know, so I don't know if they're a subscriber, if they'll see this or not, but I got to thinking, what if several thought the same way, that I was being so arrogant, and I mean, he was just really very disturbed that someone who was teaching on YouTube would come out and say such a thing. So, I said, well, you know, I'm just going to go to Blue Letter Bible and put in the word saints and see what I come up with. Well, there's such a long list. I'm just going to give you a few, and you can do it. Get some more if you want. Just in the Old Testament alone. Now, this is just, this is showing me, this is more prophetic um, words for us. Or, or at least for, um, not just for them days. Okay. Let me move me out of the way here. Well, first I'm going to tell you. The first scripture I found the word saints used was in Deuteronomy 33, verse 2. Now listen to this. Saints, I'm not reading you the scripture. You can look it up. There's, uh, I don't want to make this 25, 30 minute long right now. The word saints in this one sentence is Hebrew number 6944 in the Strong's Concordance. And it is the word Kodesh, with the accent on the K-O, Kodesh. It means, out of all the meanings I put pulled out, set apart for God. But there's others that pertain to us. They're adjectives. Okay, the very next sentence or verse is 33.3. And it is Hebrews, it's saints, the word is saints. And it's the Hebrew number, 6942, and that word is kadosh. Any of y'all know this song? Kadosh, 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 Adonai, Elohim. I don't remember the rest of it. <laughs> okay, I can't pronounce the next one. It's in Hebrew. Uh, Paul Wilbur, I think, is the artist. Okay. Well, so I knew that word. I did not meant saints. and But it could also mean holy. So I think it's holy, holy, holy. Okay, so... We're supposed to be living holy. So, if you're living holy, then this word, where it was talking about, I, the word, uh, well, you can look it up. Deuteronomy 33.3. 3. And the word is saints in the verse. Now, I use the King James Version. Okay. Again, it means saint, holy, set apart. Okay, I went for one more in the Old Testament. I mean, I, I didn't realize how long the list was. I thought I was going to find it only in the New Testament, really. Um, I just didn't remember it being in the Old Testament all that much. But I have to admit, I only started learning the Old Testament past um, Exodus, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. I got to Numbers and I kind of skipped on to Psalms and Proverbs and then, you know, back to the New Testament. So, I didn't really get into the prophetic books and Samuel and Kings until after I joined an Assemblies of God 
church where our minister really lit me on fire with using the strong concordance and everything and being able to really learn it. Anyway, moving on. I went to 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 9. And the word saints in that scripture is Hebrews 26, 23. And this is pronounced kasid, kasid. Totally different word, but it means holy, merciful, godly, good, a godly man, faithful, kind, pious, faithful ones. You see, we're the saints. Now, as I scroll down, I <laughs> found all kinds of them in the book of Daniel. So I'm going to move this over here and me right there. I'm just going to read a few of them. Okay. Oh, I can't do it this way. I got to hide me. So hopefully I won't have any wardrobe malfunctions. Okay. Oh, here's Proverbs 2, verse 8. He keepeth the paths of judgment and preserveth the way of his saints. All right. Now, the rest on here are Daniel 7, 18. Chapter 7, verse 18. See if you remember this one. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever even forever and ever. Daniel 7, 21. I beheld, and the same horn made war with the saints and prevailed against them. This is after the rapture of the bride. I can tell you that. And still, the people who didn't even make the rapture are being called saints. Of course, by then they've repented and I'm sure they became holy. They will become holy. Daniel 7, 22. Until the Ancient of Days came and judgment was given to the saints of the Most High and the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. Do I need to say anything more? I just wanted to show that we are the saints and it is proper for us to know who we are in Christ Jesus. You need to know who you are so when you battle Satan and his demons, you stand in authority knowing who you are. Don't you think you're beneath what you are because people who are living for Satan well let's just say the demons that influence them are under our feet okay know who you are in Christ Jesus know the authority you have if you are a born-again, Holy Spirit-filled, even if you're not filled, if you've truly committed, accepted Jesus as your Savior, you may be like a foolish virgin. You may not be filled. But if you're reading the Word, and you're getting understanding, and you're getting maybe dreams, maybe you're getting, um, like all of a sudden you'll feel like the Lord has told you to look up and he wanted you to see something or whatever. I mean, people do hear from the Lord without being totally filled. That's how come we can still have light and be light to the world. Okay, remember the foolish virgins had their little lamp oil, their lamps, 
and there was enough oil that they had some light. They just ran short. They ran out. They you gotta keep asking Jesus to fill you, fill your vessel full of the Holy Spirit. Don't be found lacking. You're still a saint if you're living holy. If you're putting your flesh to death. Your sins, the lust of the flesh, you're putting it to death. Yeah, you might slip up, and then you repent, and you pick yourself up, you dust yourself off, and you keep on going. Okay? Just know, we are the saints, and it's okay for us to call ourselves that. I just wanted you to know. And there's so many more scriptures you could look up. I could spend an hour, easy, reading them all, looking up the word saints <laughs> for every time. I had no clue there was three separate words in for saint in just three, the first three entries. So I'm just going to stop it here. I think I proved my point. I pray I did, and I want to plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over the internet connection so it'll go up, and over each and every one of you, and I love you all, and I appreciate your comments, and they're not notifying me of most of them. I'm searching them out. I do find some here and there that are older that never got answered to because I, I was never told in that little bell thing where they're supposed to be notifying you so anyway I'm doing the best I can and um, so I plead the blood of Jesus over all of you know that and I say God bless you all and I will talk to you later okay bye bye for now I hope it will be in person but probably not I'll probably make a video before we go. Okay, bye-bye for now.